Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is the big day. Black Friday is today. It technically hasn't started yet, but it's Friday. I wanna get this video out before the promotion actually starts and talk with you guys about a few things, some last minute prep ideas, last minute thoughts about what they're gonna do with the content and uh, things that you can look out for and things to be prepared for um, on the market today on the market today there's going to be a ton of promo stuff there's going to be more packs in the store than we have ever seen in fifa 20 so far uh last year in fifa 19 we're going to look at some of the packs and kind of the schedule of the packs that they dropped there's going to be so many lightning rounds there's going to be lightning rounds starting at 2 p.m uk and then running like 6 p.m uk 7 8 o'clock there'll be na lightning rounds late in the evening lots of lightning rounds which means a lot of packs open because lightning rounds, especially uh, early in the year, they sell out. These are the first lightning rounds of the year that are going to be coming out. And EA tweeted this out today, which is something new. They tweeted the graphic tomorrow and Sunday. So the first graphic is obviously the Black Friday promotion. Looks pretty cool, right? With the gold and the black. GG's. We like that. The next one is Super Sunday. Now, a lot of people are really questioning this. Uh, and I honestly think that EA could have picked a better word to describe Sunday, like super. That's just kind of bland. Why not like sensational? How about sensational? But anyways, Super Sunday, I basically think this is replacing Cyber Monday because if you look at, at last year, uh, this is last year right here with the Black Friday stuff uh, last year, they also mentioned Cyber Monday, I think, in some of the stuff. So I don't know if they're going to put a, as big of an emphasis on, on Cyber Monday. And I actually saw somebody tweet this out today, and I thought it was a really good point. Um, more people are on their consoles over the weekend, and less people would be on their consoles for a Monday continuation of like Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Even though Cyber Monday is an actual like legit thing in real life outside of FIFA, uh, I don't think it does as well for FIFA because it's not on the weekend. So I think they're kind of basically moving everything from Monday back to Sunday so that they can have more people on the game, possibly make more money that way. Kind of smart move from EA in terms of that sort of thing. So I basically think on Sunday, it's going to be just a continuation of Black Friday. I don't think it's going to be anything super um, different than what we get on Friday. It's probably just going to be more lightning rounds, more SBCs, and more content and stuff like that. So I don't think it'll be like a totally new promo team will come into packs on Sunday or anything like that. But I mean, I guess I, guess I could be wrong. So that leads me into the next thing, the uh, the promo team. We talked about all the packs that EA are going to put out in the store, the brow the, the packs that are going to be there, lightning rounds, um, you know, just other types of packs that are going to be in the store. What's going to make people want to open those packs? Well, they're going to have to put something into packs, whatever it may be. We have a team of the week, obviously, that's always in packs. Last year, they did the best of team of the week. They could do a full new promo team. That's maybe that player moments. Uh, stuff that we saw on Twitter a couple days ago. We haven't had like an actual card put into the database yet We would know that from some of the guys on Twitter if we actually had we haven't seen that yet um, But I'm kind of leaning towards maybe they're doing best of team of the week and Another promo if we don't get a card type put in packs I would be very leaning towards the fact that it's just going to be best of team of the week So we'll be kind of waiting on uh, from Twitter from the guys that have the access to the code on stuff like that um, until we get that but I'm honestly kind of leaning towards this player moments thing being some sort of promo um, and I want to talk about uh, how that could affect things as well of course when we get a new promo uh, when we get a new promo team I want to take you guys over to Footbin for this all right let's go to Footbin for this one because I want you guys to be getting your minds right and getting ready for if we do get a new promo team tomorrow or today on foot so I'm going to use ultimate scream as an example think about when this team came out think about popular players and where these cards fit into FIFA ultimate teams um, the players if there is a new player uh, set that comes out a new set of players new promo packs promo set new cards basically uh, you just kind of have to think, okay, how many special cards? Is this a position that's very valuable, like a center back in the Prem? Otamendi and Van Dijk are your top two cards. If we get another center back in the in the Prem, or maybe a CDM in the Prem, I and mean, we have a couple informs, just look at the cards and look at their where they fit into teams, how popular they're going to be based on the stats boost, 
based on the league and nation and also based on the position and the rarity of that position is a huge one. I remember back to FIFA 18 where we had that center attacking mid inform uh, Taliska and center attacking mid inform Hulk. This, the Hulk card was stupid, stupid expensive just because it had so much demand because it was a special card. Um, and I feel that, that um, the card that this year replicates that really, really special card that's staying really expensive is this Roberto Firmino card. Uh, I mentioned it yesterday in the video. I don't think this card's going anywhere in terms of price. If you see any panic selling on this, like mid 700s, that's a huge buy unless he goes back into packs or whatever. We'll find more about that tomorrow. But when you all, when you see a promo team for the very first time, always analyze it and think, are these players good enough to fit into people's squads? Whatever the, the player is, if it's, you know, look at their nationality, how much they're going to be used, how well they can plug and play into people's squads. So many people are using French squads this year or like Barcelona at the back with Langley, with Varane. I know he's not Barcelona, but he's French and he's La Liga. And with the PK SBC and with Semedo as well. So many people are using those types of cards in this game that if we get like, um, I don't know, Let's say we get like a some other person, like a Vidal, like a Vidal player moments card would be a card that is very, very desired by a lot of people and would make even more those Barcelona links probably rise if uh, that would come out of the game because that'd be a, another great center defensive mid. But then you might see some panic selling on De Young. So that's the kind of stuff that you'd want to think through if we do get a new promo team. But again, EA did tweet out those two pictures today of the loading screen. Actually, let me back out and log back in and see if I can see the loading screen. Because sometimes they, they put these loading screens out, but you can't actually see them. Uh, I don't even remember when I first logged in to record this video if they had the promo screen loaded up on the front. Boom, there it is. Black Friday, Team of the Week, and Icon Swaps. Boom. Black Friday starts in 12 hours from right now, and that is at 2 p.m. UK. So it's an early start. Early, early start. There's going to be lightning rounds from the start. So make sure you're, you're tuned into Twitter and stuff like that because EA is going to be tweeting a lot of stuff out. But when they tweeted this out today, we did see some market movements. I'm going to take you back over to Footbin with us right now. Take a look at what happened today on the market index. This is the gold market index. First of all, Thursday flipping was actually a massive success if you sold before 6 p.m. UK. Uh, we got that one wrong. I think the reason why it went up, Thursday flipping, a lot of stuff went up. Um, from rewards time until 6 p.m. UK on Thursday uh, was because nobody else invested. And so it took less people to buy to make that stuff go up. And people hold their packs, held their packs as well. So a small dip and then boom, upwards. But anyways, we move on, we learn, and we get better. And we saw this tweet today, of course, with the uh, Black Friday and Super Sunday stuff. And we saw a pretty sizable dip on the market. Most of the stuff that went down today was gold cards. Gold cards were sold and panic sold the most. Um, actually, if we head back over to the transfer market, you saw me looking at Mbappe. Uh, Mbappe's card was 950, like 960 almost today at 6 p.m. UK. I looked just before the uh, the announcement of Black Friday with the promo screen, and uh, he dipped down actually under 940, which is kind of where he's at. He's actually up like maybe 10,000 coins right now. He's 945. I did see a few under 940 earlier today, so there was a little bit of panic selling on some of these cards. Most of the panic selling though, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, a lot of the panic selling was on the lower rated golds. Uh, Lucas Mora, I think. I saw him get panic sold a lot today. He was down like a thousand coins and a 10k card is like 10%. He's since rebounded back up and just gotten rare overnight, 9,600 at the moment, 97. Uh, but that card did get panic sold today. So it looked like a lot of people sold their gold cards that they might have had in their, their cheap teams or it, people had cheap teams. They know that, okay, Black Friday is coming. These cards are going to get packed a lot. They sold those off today. So you've seen a little bit of panic selling so far on the front of the informs. If we look at index special on Footbin, a lot of this stuff rose after rewards and it's honestly still kind of high. Uh, and if you look at, at the cards that are up, it almost looks like it's a mix between usable cards and like SBC stuff. So like Verratti, I mean, that's probably usable, but is it SBC? Maybe a little bit. Digne is definitely a used card. Um, Theo Hernandez is a used card. Andrew Robertson and Ben Yedder definitely used cards. But then you do have some panic selling on other areas of the market as well. So in the area of the informs and special cards, I still think there's room for these cards to drop off tomorrow with a little bit of panic selling. I do think you're gonna see a little bit of panic selling into the morning, but I don't think it's gonna to be too crazy because if you think about it, a lot of people at 2 p.m., 
that's not their normal time to be on FIFA if you're a casual UK player. That's not your normal time to be on FIFA on a Friday. Like a normal Friday, you probably get on like 4, 5, 6 p.m. is when most people get on the game. So I don't think there's going to be enough time for a lot of the panic selling that we usually see before a Friday promo because the promo starts so early in the day. So you might see a little bit of panic selling in the, the morning UK time into the afternoon, but probably not a ton. Uh, but really what we're waiting for is that announcement at 6 p.m. about Black Friday. Last, last year they had this video down here as well with new pack types. Um, the Flash SBCs, you can be Flash SBCs every hour. I would assume that's similar to last year. They dropped two flashback players right away with weekly objectives. And I think there's like companion app rewards as well. So make sure you check the companion app to possibly get coins or pack rewards uh, when you log in to foot. So again, some things that you can look out for tomorrow. Again, I mentioned the panic selling. I don't think there's going to be a ton of it in the morning. I could be wrong. That's a snipe. We will take that. All right, we're going to take that Lucas Moore right there and uh, make about a thousand coins on it. Nice. We saw that and we uh, took a nice little snipe on it. We'll take that. But I don't think you're going to take, I don't think you're going to see a ton of panic tomorrow morning, but I do think you will see some. And the really, the, the easy way to measure panic, uh, I'm going to use this Conte card, for example. This not, this might not be a card that gets panic sold a ton, but it is a decent example. Basically, just look for open bids. Look for open bids on cards, and that's a sure sign, especially if it's like an Mbappe, if it's a Neymar, uh, whatever promo or cards back in packs that they release tomorrow, the details. Look for open bids. That's a sure sign of panic. Open bids and mass listing and undercutting on the 59th minute. And then stuff that you can do again tomorrow. When If we do get a new promo team, uh, look at those cards. See what other cards are going to drop because of the new cards coming out. Um, we're talking like substitute goods, if you know what I mean by that. Uh, a substitute good would be like, let's say they give Alexandro a left back special card. You might see this Alex Tellez drop a little bit because he is a Brazilian left back. They're both the same good, um, but this Alex Tellez is like the best one right now. If another one comes onto the game, some people might see this and say, hey, I want this one, which makes this one go down because people will sell their Tellez to insert that Sandro into their team. That's called a compliment good. Excuse me, a substitute good. Substitute good. Um, a little economic principle for you right there um but yeah so that's the kind of stuff you look out for tomorrow and then compliment goods as well let's say they release like uh i don't know we're talking left back tellas again let's say they release uh, a left mid from porto uh that would be a green link to tell us it's probably not the best example because not a lot of people would want that card but let's say they release like a um i don't know maybe a van dyke uh, that would be a really high tier card. Let's say a special Van Dyke card. Then you might see a guy like Fabinho or uh, Robertson or Trent Alexander-Arnold in forms go up because those are direct links to that new Van Dyke card. So that's stuff to look at and to look out for as well. Look for some of the panic selling on the market. If you see some deals, especially on the out of packs in forms that are meta like this Teles card. Again, I mentioned a lot of that stuff of what to buy in my video yesterday. Best Black Friday investment. So check that out if you haven't. But yeah, tomorrow is just going to be a time where you look for a lot of deals. You're going to observe the panic selling, see what they come out with, with the, with the content and with the details. And um, really, we'll be able to start to formulate our plan of attack from there. Once we see what comes out and what their plan is for this promo, we will be able to see, okay, what kind of moves we can make. Um, I would highly advise if you're going to be buying something, look at the panic. 2 p.m. UK to 6 p.m. UK, but I think there's going to be a lot of panic and another, you know, prices might go down at 2 p.m., but then at 6 p.m. I think they will take another drop um, in some areas of the market because of the promo packs being out and more people being at home, more people being on the game. Uh, that could definitely affect things as well. And then, of course, after like the first two, three hours of those lightning rounds, you'll probably start to see an uptick in the market in terms of usable weekend league caliber players because if people are buying teams after rewards today right before a promo that tells me that people are antsy and people are really 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 wanting to buy their teams and they're not going to wait much longer um even with the panic uh in the possibility for more content on sunday which could be different this is a pretty decent price by the way um you probably will see a pretty sizable buyback 
on Friday night. Now, I want you guys to be ready for that because the earlier you buy, when you see the panic right away, if you're watching it go lower and go lower and go lower and it's not really getting undercut anymore and you're like, this is really low, should I buy it? You probably should because if it's a usable meta card, it's going to be going up Friday night into Saturday. And then Saturday, you're going to see it start to trickle down again. Normal weekend league sell off Saturday evening, Saturday night into Sunday um, with more content and more SBCs and more stuff coming out. So tomorrow, again, places that you want to be focusing in on, looking at out-of-pack special cards and out-of-packs in forms that are very usable that people are going to be buying Friday night for building their weekend league teams to finish the weekend because you want to be the most efficient. There's stuff we can buy midday uh, during the promo hours on Friday that we can sell Friday night, Saturday morning, and then get our coins back and be ready to go in on Saturday night and Sunday. Again, when there's more panic selling from weekend league sell-off and more content being put out as stuff will rise again even more into the next week as people build those Black Friday teams from the coins they get from opening packs. Other places you want to be, the Icon 59th Minute is going to be a great place to be. And then honestly, just sniping anything that you can. Literally, just think of any card that goes for something. You know, if it's a high rated, like um, maybe even a guy like who else? Uh, who's going to be out here sniping the Hummels card or Hummels, however you say it? Um, probably not a ton of people. Maybe people that are going to do an Icon SBC, right? How much is he? 20, 26K? All right, I was a little high there. 26K, 25. These are, these are the types of cards you might be able to get huge snipes on tomorrow. And you just look at the people that nobody's looking at. And you could find yourself a nice little money pit tomorrow during a, a panic of people opening packs all at the same time. So again, tomorrow, you're going to see tons of people hyped up about the new content. Whoa, I got a sale. Who sold? Oh, my Lucas, of course. Yes, GG. GG, thank you. You're going to see tons of people hyped up about the content, tons of people hyped up about SBCs, and there's going to be so many things going in your mind of like, what should I do? Should I go look at SBC investments for this? Uh, our 83 is going to be rising because of this SBC. Honestly, just relax, look at everything that's coming out, and just kind of start to make logical and um, rational decisions and, th and um, just think about, okay, this player is out in packs. This is making people gonna open packs. We have lightning rounds right now. It means a lot of cards are coming onto the market. This SBC is, is requiring this players. Just think about it logically. Don't go crazy. Don't make any super duper rash investments or rash movements unless you're like the first one to go and if they require like Liga MX players in Mexico or something, players uh, for a flash SBC, maybe you go and buy those really fast because that's a great trading tip. Um, if they require anything really, really obscure, like maybe they require a, uh, I don't know, let's pick a uh, random nationality. Let's pick a Cameroon. Let's let's say they require gold Cameroon players tomorrow. Uh, and there's an SBC that requires these. Maybe a guy like Toko Okami or Abubakar goes from 600 coins. And during those flash SBCs, people will literally pay thousands of cards to do that SBC for a 25k pack. Uh, in that hour, you will see some gold cards like this tomorrow reach like eight, 9,000 coins. It's not out of question. It's happened before. So just watch those requirements. Watch the silvers, stuff like that. Um, that's, it's going to be a fun day tomorrow, boys. All right. Get ready to have some fun. Make sure that you have your plan set though. If you're trying to build a team, make sure you're looking at the market, watching those players. If that's what you're most concerned with building a team tomorrow, make sure your eyes are set on that. But hopefully this video gives you a lot of stuff that you can look out for and stuff to keep in mind for today in FIFA Ultimate Team. Black Friday is here. Hopefully EA puts out some awesome content. I, I think they will. Uh, they really have done a solid job this year with the promos and content, I think. There's a little bit that could have been left to be desired with Road to the Final, I think, but Scream is solid. Um, so we'll see what happens with this promo. Uh, it's It's been a good one in the past, so hopefully EA lives up to that expectation again. If you like this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.